What's up, my achievement sponges? Mayhem Blizz, we're playing this free-to-play game called DPS Idol for the full 2000G, or 4000G as it has a Windows stack. We can cop the full 2000G in around half an hour to an hour, dependent on the RNG for one achievement. Start off by increasing the number of chests you open in a single click to times 99. Obviously, we won't be able to afford 99 chests all the time, so it will just buy as many chests as possible with the money we have. So let's do what the tool tips suggest, and we're going to keep clicking the cave scarab to attack it. Once defeated, we'll get 5 coins, and the HP of the monster will increase every time you defeat it. So once we defeat him 5 times, we'll have 25 coins, and then we have enough to open a chest. Chests give you cards and each card has a specific effect, which I will cover in a moment. You will notice the price of the chests also increase with each purchase. Once you've defeated a monster, you can then navigate to the next monster and go back and forth between them. You want to tap right quickly here so we only defeat the boar once, so we are going to rinse him later for some leaves. You will notice that defeating particular monsters have the chance to net you additional things by the icon in the top right corner of the monster. The boar has 30% chance of netting us a leaf each time we defeat it. The golden toad has 10% chance of netting us times 10 its coin output, which would be 5,000 coins. So keep buying chests and defeating monsters until we have at least 5 leaves and access to the magic tab. So the magic tab is now available and we have 12 leaves, so navigate to the tab by pressing left or right bumper. And then once on the magic tab we are going to spend 5 of our leaves on the sphere bottom right and this will temporarily increase the amount of damage per second that we do when it's active. And you'll also get the Mage Achievement for 50 game score for activating it for the first time. You'll then want to click on the Sphere itself 10 times to fully activate it. We're then going to navigate to the Quests tab as suggested by the tooltip. Again, you can get to the Quest tab by pressing the left or right bumper. Here we have a set of challenges that if we complete them, we are rewarded crystals, but we won't be actively going for challenges, you should unlock some of them naturally. Be sure to keep an eye out for the red star notification on both of these tab icons. This signifies that your sphere either needs topping up or you have some challenges you can turn in. We have also unlocked the rich achievement for 50 gamer score for getting 5000 gold, but don't worry about this for a moment as there is a simple way to get money. Change the monster to the slave demon as we will need one silver to upgrade our card soon. Now keep opening chests until you have this entire deck filled. Remember our goal is to get 200 leaves. Once you have filled your deck you'll notice the purchase chest has changed to silver. We can use this to upgrade one of our cards to silver which is required to progress in the game. This will also get us the silver achievement for 100 gamer score, which don't worry, the achievement only unlocks when you sign into the game for the second time. So click the silver and we are going to locate the lizard den. This will change the amount of gold we earn from 289 gold per second to 2.89 million gold per second, which is quite the change. So upgrade that bad boy and you'll notice every time we upgrade a card, the deck resets and then our money is absolutely steaming now. We can quickly get the rich two and the rich three achievements for earning a million for a combined 400 gamer score. And because we are now in the millions, the guild tab has become available. There is an achievement for joining the guild, which costs one billion, which doesn't take long at all to accumulate. A second chest will also become available as shown by the tooltip. This happens when we upgrade one of our cards from the first deck with silver. Click that new blue chest, set the chest openings to times 99 and buy some chests. This is just so we gain some more silver. Now we're going to head back to the first deck. It shouldn't take much to complete this deck for a second time due to the price of chests and how much we have. Once you've completed the deck for the second time, you'll want to upgrade this Hunter card to increase your chance of getting a Leaf from 3% to 36%. And then once you've done that, purchase some more chests to get some more Leaves. And then we got the Great Leaf achievement for 100 Gamer Score for getting 100 Leaves, so we're halfway there. Again, keep remembering to go back to the Magic tab and click the Sphere to temporarily get some more damage per second, not to the Boost button. And now it's time to push for some extra leaves. So now we have that hunter upgraded for an extra 36% chance of getting a leaf. And because we only defeated that boar once, he will still have really low HP. So we're going to switch to the boar and we'll defeat him a bunch of times and you'll have a flood of leaves, hopefully not too far from 200. Now stay killing the boar and stop buying chests so we can accumulate 1 billion to join the guild. And then once you have that billion, we're going to navigate to the guild tab and join the merchant guild and you'll get the first guild achievement for 100 gamer score. As the tooltip suggests, we'll want to leave the guild when our game feels like it's slowing down. 
leaving the guild will restart the game but increase our gold multiplier and the monsters churn out more gold. So come down here and click the pawn to collect a star. This star opens 30 chests for us free of charge. Now head back to the main page and click the star to open 30 chests and that should be enough to take you over 200 leaves. So that will be the Great Leaf 2 achievement for a whopping 200 gamer score. Now head to the magic tab and we can click the boost button four times to upgrade our sphere to level six. And that will get us the great mage achievement for a hundred gamer score. So once you've got those achievements, we will want to restart our game by leaving the guild. Before we leave the guild, there are a few things we want to do. We're going to go to the quests tab and make sure to turn in all of your quests to receive your crystals. So take a look at the quests on the left hand side. If you're close to completing those, it might be worth continuing with those before restarting. Now, if you have 75 crystals, I would recommend spending them on the 200% extra boost as that will increase the multiplier to 2K. I'm 20 crystals off, which I could rinse out the boar and the toad kills to achieve it. I also unlocked the monster killer achievement here for 100 gamer score for killing 300 monsters. There is another monster killer achievement for killing 500 monsters. We'll get that one naturally. So grinding those boar and toad kills was taking too long and I want to make this guide really quick and efficient for you guys. So I'm going to leave the guild with a 50% increase for 30 crystals, which is still good enough and we'll get a 1k increase. So now we have restarted, our goal now is to get the hardest achievement in the game, which is the lucky amplifier achievement, which requires us to boost a single card to four with silver. So now we are going to do the exact same method as before, but instead spend all of our leaves on card boosts. So do remember this method though, as if you don't get the lucky amplifier achievement, you'll want to leave the guild and rinse and repeat this method until you get that achievement to pop. So set the chest openings to times 99, kill the cave scarab, open some chests until we filled our deck. And then we're going to head to the magic tab and only boost the sphere once to get some temporary increase to damage. Then skip the ball as quick as you can. Once you've completed the first deck, we're going to kill a slave demon to get some silver. Upgrade the lizard den card to get loads of money. Complete the first deck for a second time and then we're gonna mash that boost button. So our aim again is to have a single card with four of these boosts assigned to it. And I got really lucky here, and I got the lucky amplifier on my first round of those boosts, which is very, very lucky. You'll notice my cockatoo card here has four boosts. So my other two playthroughs did take a little longer, perhaps an additional 10 minutes to get this achievement. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just pretend that I haven't unlocked it at the moment, and we're gonna to continue to get some more boosts. So we can do that by heading to the second deck. We're gonna set the chest openings to times 99 and we're gonna buy some chests. This will get us more silver. We're gonna head back to the first deck and upgrade the hunter to gain more leaves. And then if a hunter has a boost, be sure to upgrade that one instead as the percentage will be higher. So we also got our Monster Killer 2 achievement here for killing 500 monsters. So once you've upgraded your Hunter, switch to the board to rinse out some more leaves. And then we're gonna mash that boost button again. To get some more leaves, we can save a billion in money to join the guild. And 
and then once joined click the pawn to collect your star and then we can use that star on the first deck to get more leaves and purchase some more boosts. So if you are here then and you don't have a single card with three boosts I would recommend leaving the guild and trying again. If you have a card with three boosts maybe continue on a little bit to earn some more leaves for boosts until it really slows down. And then once your boosts are costing over 60 leaves I'm sorry but it's probably best to restart. So let's do a quick achievement check. Silver, we've already unlocked this. It will unlock during our next login to the game. And then poison one and two, we can get 10,000 poisonous damage. I'll show you how to do that one. Uh, DPS to get 100 million damage per second. I'll show you that one. And then patience is a key. This is for returning to the game after six hours. So head back. So our aim here is to either upgrade the desert warrior for an increase to our damage per second or the mushroom to increase our poisonous damage depending on the achievement you're going for. So we will start with the DPS achievement, leave the guild and if you have any extra crystals, spend them on a percentage increase. So like we did before then, upgrade the lizard den first. Then the desert warrior. And then we're going to join the guild. And then we're going to use the star on the second deck to hopefully fill it. Now in the second deck we want to upgrade the Chingalata in the bottom right as well to get a further increase to our damage. And that will get us the DPS achievement for a 100 gamer score. So now for the poison achievements, again you can leave the guild and restart if you like, or you can see if you can progress well with the game that you're currently in. I managed to complete the first deck again, so I upgraded the mushroom with silver, and that should be enough to net you both poison 1 and poison 2 achievements for a combining total of 300 gamer score. However, if you still need more poison damage, you can upgrade the bottom left card, Marsh Hut, in the second deck. So then guys, that's pretty much all of it. We do need to return to the game within six hours. So lastly, take note of the time that you quit out of the game as you'll want to log in six hours later or more to get your silver and your patient is a key achievement. So I made sure I waited seven hours just to be sure. We're gonna bring up the Xbox menu, press the start button on TPS idle and select quit. So just make sure you load up the game seven hours later, you'll get those achievements and your 2000 gamer score. Please subscribe if you're interested in Game Pass guides and help me hit 2k before the end of the year. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.